Want to stay up to date on my latest videos? Please hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to check my Instagram page at The Anatomy Gal. Okay, let's focus in on one of my favorite parts about the kidney, which is the juxtaglomerular apparatus. And before we dive in, it's good to get familiar with the key players here. The JGA is going to be composed of a set of specialized cells. Um, the vessels that are involved are going to be the afferent arterial and the distal convoluted tubule. So if you recall, blood, very quickly, blood comes in here, things are gonna filter out, we'll, we'll create that filtrate. It's gonna go through the PCT, through the loop of Henle, and then that fluid will come back through this distal convoluted tubule. There are some specialized cells within both vessels. So these right here, one way that you can tell the difference between the afferent and efferent or afferent efferent is that the afferent is larger, like I said before. Why is it larger? It's because we have these specialized cells called granular cells or juxtaglomerular cells that are in the part of the afferent arterial right before it connects into the glomerulus. So these cells specifically are those granular cells. These cells right here are the macula densa of the distal convoluted tubule. These are kind of a specialized or modified set of epithelial cells. They're a bit more columnar shaped than the um, other cells over here. So this specific group of cells on this part of the DCT, so the cells that are right next to that afferent arterial, those specifically are the macula densa. Now, what's the big deal about the JGA? Let's think about this. Is the fluid inside here in the, this tube the same as the fluid here? No, because remember that the stuff that's inside the tubule, tubule has gone through the loop of Henle and different things are going in and out of the tube. And so um, if we need to modify what goes into that tubular fluid, that can happen at this level. The big picture is that we are going to affect systemic blood pressure, which is why this just blows my mind because these cells are so teeny tiny, but collectively when they all work together, they affect our systemic blood pressure. So for instance, if um, we have um, a lower blood pressure, we need to elevate our blood pressure. Okay, these granular cells right here will release renin. And maybe by now you've learned about the RAAS system and that whole complex process. The big picture being, being when we, uh, that renin ultimately increases our blood pressure. How does that do that? Well, it helps control GFR or the glomerular filtration rate. The macula densa detects sodium chloride. So when we have an increased amount of sodium, this is actually going to cause the afferent arterial to constrict. When this vessel constricts, this causes the um, um, blood flow to the glomerulus to also decrease. This decreases filtration because all of this is contracting. When this contracts, that decreases glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. Um, when we do that, that means urine production is decreased, and that helps maintain our blood pressure. The opposite would be true. So um, if we have um, vasodilation of the afferent arterial, that's gonna cause these to relax um, a way you can think of that is that we are increasing the filtration surface area. And when we increase that, we're producing ultimately more urine. And if we're excreting more urine, we are decreasing our blood volume, which 
is a way we can uh, decrease blood pressure. So again, the juxtaglomerular apparatus is made up of these specialized cells here, the granular cells of the afferent arteriole, the macula densa of the uh, distal convoluted tubule, and we actually also have these extra glomerular mesangial cells, which are here. They're not listed in your lab manual, or and they're not really represented here on the model. Their function is still not super well understood, but we know that they have gap junctions and they basically help transmit those messages via paracrine hormones from one side to the other. So everyone be thankful for your JGA.